Good morning and welcome to the Great Journey podcast. I'm here with 8th Degree Black Belt Sensei Marty Callahan. And today we are continuing on in a series on our dojo creed that we we talk about and recite in the school. So um, last week, the first part we discussed was seeking perfection of character. And this week we're talking about being faithful. Yes. All right. So what do you have to share with us about that? Well, um, uh, first thing is, uh, just want to go over the, the Dojo Creed in general. So okay. if you look at the translation, the Japanese translation, mm -hmm. or actually where the English translation of the Japanese, right. yes. um, but they all begin with the word shtots. Okay. And I, you know, for, please excuse my Japanese pronunciation is probably not accurate, so, but, uh, go for anyway, it. Close, we don't yeah. know any different. <laughs> um, but um, it, each one of the five um, principles mm -hmm. uh, um, is, is start with that word stotes, which means first. Okay. So first seek perfection in character, first be faithful, and then and the rest of them. Okay. We're talking about faithful here today. Right. Um, so what, what that first means is that this is of utmost importance mm -hmm. and that they're, they're all given uh, of, of utmost importance. Right. Um, the first one, it was seek perfection of character, and now is be faithful. Right. So what does that mean? Yes. Well, um, and it's, it's interesting that faith mm -hmm. is in one of the principles mm -hmm. that that's recited at the end of the class, seek mm -hmm. perfection of character, be faithful. Mm -hmm. So that is um, a essentially confidence mm -hmm. faith, faith is confidence and if you look at the word confidence and break it down into its roots mm -hmm. you had con which means with and fidence which means faith mm -hmm. so doing something with faith right and um it, it's interesting that that would be one of the principles mm -hmm. so you really can't function well at all if you don't have confidence or if you don't have belief in yourself that right. you can actually do this thing. Right. If you lack that belief, you're, you're going to fall apart. Right. Because the opposite would be doubting yourself yeah. and that doubt will trip you up. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So the question then is how do you do that? How do you build confidence? How do you build confidence in someone that doesn't have it? Right. Well, you build confidence by starting with something very small mm -hmm. that the person can can do right now, mm -hmm. and then you you add to that. Mm -hmm. And one of the things I do here in the school is I point to the front door, and I say to the child, you know, Johnny, do you feel like you could stand up, walk over to the front door, push that door open, and walk out the door? Mm -hmm. Of course you can. Right. And and so he's confident that he can do that. Right. All right, now we're going to teach you how to do this other thing, and you're going to practice that thing mm -hmm. and practice it and practice it and practice it. And a moment will come when you now have the confidence that you right. can actually do that thing. Right. When you first start, you don't have the confidence. Right. But as you practice and practice and practice and practice, then you get to the point where there's an automatic transition to, the, to doing that. Right. I remember going through this when I first learned how to drive, 16 years old. Yes. And in a vehicle, I'm first, you know, all right, this is what how I do this. Mm -hmm. I got to shift the gears here. I got to put my foot on right. the clutch and the gas and the brake and all that stuff. All the processes that you have to think about. Yeah. That. Yeah. And so I would, you know, be like this and... Uh, um, as I got down the road mm -hmm. and, and most new drivers are like this, mm -hmm. but, but you drive and then you get you do it, go a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more and pretty soon. Okay. All right. Now I know how to do it. It right. becomes automatic. Right. And when it becomes automatic, now you have that belief that you can do this thing. Absolutely. And so my son's <laughs> learning to drive right now. Yeah. And as when I'm the one yeah. in the car with him teaching, I, I walk through everything like, yep. you know, why you have to look at this and that and all these things. Yep. And I said, right now it seems like a lot and overwhelming, but now when I get yep. in the car, it is, it's just yep. natural and automatic and you don't even think about it. Yep. So, but you do have to build that and you don't realize yes. actually how many things you're thinking about and all the muscle memory and what it's all doing all at one time yep. when you're driving. Yeah. yeah. And, and there's more or less a four step process involved in that. You know, if you're teaching somebody something, when, when you first teach them, you tell them what it is you want them to do. 
and then you show them what you want them to do and then you let them try it mm -hmm. and then you watch them as they're trying it right. and you you make corrections right. for them so right. and and as you're and the most important thing to do is to eliminate the mistakes that they're making mm -hmm. and so you eliminate the mistakes now they're doing it without the mistakes mm -hmm. And now that can just become a smooth um, motion. Right. And when it becomes smooth motion, now it's automatic. Right. Yeah. So, um, but but with faith, right. believing in yourself, yes. that's right up there. Right. It's important. You yep. want to be a confident driver. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Is that all for today? That's all. Okay. Yep. All right. Well, thank you so much. And um, so next time on the Dojo series, we are going to be talking about uh, well, see perfection character, be faithful, endeavor. endeavor. Oh, endeavor. that'll be a good one. Okay. Yes. All right. We'll see you next time. Thanks so much for listening and have a great day. Bye-bye.